is it safe to do an MRI if you have a metallic implant inside your body? So friends, we'll break it down into two parts. I'll start by telling you that if your implant is well secured to the bone, like in a knee replacement surgery or in a hip replacement surgery, or for that matter, a dental implant, then it is absolutely safe to do an MRI because these implants are well secured to the bone and are made up of titanium. So if you do an MRI, then this implant won't heat up or won't move from its place. But yes, if you have an implant which is near a soft tissue organ, then we have to take special precautions. Welcome to the part two of is MRI safe if you have a metallic implant inside your body. So if the metallic implant is your hearing aid or if it is inside some blood vessel or if it is near your eye or your spinal cord, then definitely it is not safe to do an MRI and you must discuss with your doctor before going ahead with it. Now, MRI is a magnetic field and if you go into an MRI and these metallic implants move here and there, then they can lead to damage to these soft tissue organs. So please discuss with your doctor before going for an MRI. There's a question on the internet, what should I do to ease my hip pain? So this is not for people who have hip arthritis or avascular necrosis. But generally, if you get up in the morning or when you get up after sitting for long hours, if you experience pain in the hip area, then you can do two stretches. One of them is to do the hip rotation, both clockwise and anti-clockwise. And the other is to stretch your hip flexors. That should help in relieving the hip pain. So internet says that too much calcium is bad for bones. Now friends, let me tell you that calcium supplementation is not needed for any young healthy adult be it a male or a female. It is needed only for postmenopausal women or men above the age of 65 or for people who are suffering from any disease which can lead to poor bone quality. It's also needed for lactating mother. Otherwise, a young healthy adult male doesn't require calcium supplementation. So what does smoking do to your bone? You must know that smoking is one of the most common preventable cause of weak bones or osteoporotic bones. So definitely, it's not healthy to smoke for your bones also. In fact, there are some surgeries which are like knee joint preservation surgeries which are not offered to people if they are smokers. So definitely stay away from it. So hip joint is a ball and socket joint. Femoral bone or the thigh bone has a ball and the pelvic bone has a socket. So this is the pelvic bone and this is the ball of the femur which makes the hip joint and we have multiple movements possible on the hip joint. So before we know about the problems of the hip joint, we should know what are the movements possible at the hip joint. So this is the flexion at my this joint and extension at my hip joint right this movement is freely possible in a normal hip joint right and this is the rotation at my hip joint which we do before any workout this is a stretching exercise but this rotation should be freely possible at your hip joint right and the third movement is hip abduction reduction and what do i mean by that now this movement is abduction at both my hip joints and it is possible in every normal hip joint. So when we do this exercise, we are actually abducting the hip joint. And if any of these movements is affected or painful or restricted, then you must figure it out and you should go and see your doctor. So here am I getting some sun because I want to keep my bones healthy. So exercising and sun light exposure is very, very important for the bone health. So there's been a lot of talk about sunscreens being having anti-aging properties, keeping you fair, protecting you from skin cancer. Well, agreed. But some amount of sunlight exposure is very, very important for your bones because it leads to production of vitamin D in your system. And using sunglasses, using caps or using sunscreen all the time is not at all healthy for your bones. So I want to introduce the concept of balanced sun protection, which means that you get some sun and also use sunscreen. Rather, you should follow the concept of balanced sun protection, wherein you expose your body, expose your skin to some sunlight. And not all the time you're wearing sunglasses, a hat and uh, sunscreen. And that will protect you from aging and will keep you away from skin cancers and other such things which can be protected by sunscreens. So for more such useful content, you can follow me on Dr. Pankaj Village Official.